Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hope you're doing well. We are continuing our reading of the concise presentation of fiqh. We are quite deep into the book. This particular topic, though, that I read, that I'm going to review here with you, is concerning where should the funeral prayer be held. And I think this is really enlightening as a revert to see how a Muslim funeral process occurs and all the stuff you can do to prepare. Let's begin. It is permissible to perform the funeral prayer in the mosque, which is really cool. Now there's something from Aisha here. I'll be pleased with her. When Sayyid ibn Abu Waqqas died, the Prophet's wives requested that his prayer be in the mosque so that they could pray for him. The people did so and had the funeral in front of their apartments adjoining the mosque, and they prayed for him. He was taken out through the door of the funeral prayers to his final resting place. When the news of this reached the people, they found it blameworthy. They said, A funeral prayer should not be taken into the mosque. When this reached Aisha, she said, Why are the people so quick to live a blame concerning matters that they are not knowledgeable of? They blame us for bringing the funeral prayer into the mosque while the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not pray over Suhail ibn Beda except in the mosque. And apparently, there is a hadith that has been said to be sahih by Sheikh al Albani, and it's number 1589, recorded by a Muslim, where it is permissible according to that citation because there's an example of it. Continues further, however, it is preferable to perform the funeral prayer outside of the mosque in a place specifically designated for funeral prayers. Okay, cool. So you can do it inside, but there is a designated area for funeral prayers. Good to know. As was the usual case during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and what he customarily did. Thus, Ibn Umar said, The Jews came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, with a man from them and a woman who had committed adultery. The Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered that they be stoned, and they were stoned close to the place of the funeral prayers near the mosque. What I found interesting about that is that we learn the Prophet, peace be upon him, did order a stoning, and that adultery was punished with actual stoning. Now, it does make you wonder about whether some people who committed adultery and didn't get stoned, was there like legislation? Could the woman or man forgive them and then say they don't want the stoning? And then I like to think about if we had that today, adultery would occur quite less. It continues, Abu Huraira, may Allah be peace with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, announced, the death of the ruler of Abyssinia on the day that he died. He then went out to the place of prayer and lined the people in rows and made four takbirs in the prayer. Wow. So even rulers got honored by the prophet, peace be upon him. It goes, ends here. It is though not allowed to perform the prayer in the midst of the graves, that is, in a graveyard. So... You're not allowed to perform prayer in the midst of the graves. Adnas narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade the performance of the funeral prayer amidst the graves. And it says, its chain is Hassan, Sheikh Albani, al Janaiz, page 108. And there was something recorded by At Tabarani in Al Awsat. Now, this is quite different than how. We would think of it because if you look at a Catholic Italian funeral, there's a priest and everyone's praying in the cemetery. It is actually quite normal f for many cultures to pray in the cemetery. But here you see different example. And I found that to be quite unique because some of us reverts might not understand and comprehend why you cannot do funeral prayers amongst a graveyard but clearly here in islam 
according to this text. You cannot do that. It seems quite confusing because you wonder, well, what are you supposed to do then when you're putting the body in? Just be in silence? I don't know. Because us Americans are so accustomed to pray. And there's always like, especially if you're at a funeral for a Christian, there's always somebody saying something biblical as the body's being lowered. You know, tons of like religious talk. I think someone should make like a really interesting video about what you're supposed to do. Because that's an educational aspect that has to be covered. Unique, I have to say. Hope you enjoyed. The funeral section has been very enlightening. By the way, if you'd like to join my blog, it's www.subscribestar.com slash millenarchive. Hope to see you there. Take care.